Hello to the Miro community. I'd like to introduce myself and the concept of a brand new wine club, or we will call it a wine society for you folks exclusively. My name is Jim Denham. I own the Wine Steward, which is a nice wine shop up in Pleasanton, up the street from you, if you may. And it is a shop that offers everything wine. In other words, we try to show you the entire world of wine, international and domestic things made by small producers, typically. We are in an old movie theater, uh, and so you can imagine that we have a lot of vertical space. Therefore, there's a mezzanine up above our sales floor, or our retail floor, uh, and on that mezzanine, we will often do events, but every weekend we have a different wine bar theme. So we publish a different wine bar tasting menu for you visitors. So come up and see us sometime. In the meantime, we are coming to you with this wine club, I'm sorry, Wine Society, that is chosen um, and customized specifically for you guys. So what we're gonna do every month is publish this video and tell you what you wine club members are getting this month. A few nights ago, we got to meet many of you. Thank you so much for coming to our inaugural get together up on the top floor of one of the year beautiful buildings. And I met you along with uh, some uh, cohorts of mine. We were up there pouring some very nice things, including the first month's wine club wines. We had some nice people signing up for the club immediately. I know a lot of you could not join us, so this video is another way of reaching out so that you can get to know us. If you didn't get to meet me then, you get to meet me now, or have to meet me now, however you want to look at it. I happen to like sparkling wine, that's why this is sitting here. This wine has absolutely nothing to do with what you brand new wine club members are getting in your pack, but I've got to clear my throat somehow, right? Maybe it's my way of saying cheers, welcome to the club, thank you for signing up. And you who are just learning about this wine society are able to still obtain the May Wine Club wines. That is the first month. And uh, we can get you signed up. You can head for the winesteward.com, I believe also on your Miro app, uh, where all the services and provisions are described. You will now see information about this wine society. And you can use the QR code there, which takes you to the winesteward.com and enables you to sign up for this wine society that is yours only. And we will be able to provide you within about a week of uh, with the May wine wine. So those who have already signed up will be brought their wines and you who have not signed up yet still have the opportunity to do so and obtain the three wines that we have chosen. How does this club work? By the way, I intend for these videos to typically be about four minutes long in the future. <laughs> this one will go longer because we have to explain how this wine society works. Every month, we are choosing three wines from you. I taste about 150 wines every week with my different vendors. And from those, I only choose maybe five or 10 for, uh, for our store's retail floor, for our wine bar, for our next events, and so on. And now I'm thinking of you folks in particular when I am tasting those wines and choosing. So what are we gonna be choosing for you? We are going to be giving you one white wine and two reds every month. Let's get into this right now. Let's describe the club further by showing you what the May Wine uh, Society pack consists of. First, here's this refreshing white, and that's gonna be the typical theme when we choose a white for you. We found here at the Wine Steward that more of our customers prefer something refreshing and clean and vibrant and energetic over maybe the heavy duty buttery oaky wines. You can obtain those wines, Chardonnay and otherwise, anywhere. But these things are often wines you've never heard of. And that's part of the excitement of this wine society. We are gonna expose you to things you've never heard of. Sounds a little scary, yes, but I'm a pretty good chooser of wines that seem to appeal to just about absolutely everybody. So you get to learn and you get to be appeased with uh, nice flavors. Here is a white wine from Northern Italy, the area of Alto Adige. It's up near the Dolomites, that's part of the uh, Alps mountain chain. And this is beautiful country. This is not grown on level, boring looking terrain. It is crawling up the mountain. In other words, these vineyards are grown on terraces in rather high places. 
This is the land of Pinot Grigio. You've heard of Pinot Grigio, also known as Pinot Gris. It's probably the most planted grape here in Alto Adige. Well, we want to surprise you. We want to give you not just good wine, but a nice surprise. Um, the unconventional sometimes. And what most people aren't aware of yet is that great, wonderful Sauvignon Blanc happens here as well. They, simp they abbreviate uh, the name of that grape to just Sauvignon on this label. This is the producer Adler, a small producer making beautiful white wines, including this Sauvignon Blanc. It is very sassy, nervous, energetic. Smell it and oh, the fragrance is incredible. I love this wine. By the way, the glass that I like to show it in is this guy right here. So maybe we can have a little uh, learning experience about stemware as well. If you want higher acid, vibrant wines to remain so, for that vibrancy to be emphasized, pour it in a smaller, skinny glass, all right? So that's the white wine coming to the Wine Society for May. What are we doing as far as red goes? What we're gonna do every month is provide a red that's very good and a red that's great. In other words, two different price points of red. How about that? So let's tell you about the very good red first. This is a Pinot Noir from much closer to home. In other words, if you were to leave where you live in San Jose and head south on 101, you would soon be arriving maybe an hour from uh, departure time in the Santa Lucia Highlands of Monterey County. And this is the, uh, the source of great Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, and in fact, where this wine comes from. Two different vineyards supply this particular Pinot Noir from Cru. Cru is a great producer of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir in Monterey County, and they did not miss the mark here. What is so nice about this Pinot Noir is it's not overly heavy. Some Pinots are very manufactured nowadays, and that disappoints me. I would like to provide you with wine that tastes real. This is real Pinot Noir. It's not over the top in color or over the top in size. It is not manufactured. Delicate beauty, and what you should do with Pinot Noir is smell it a lot. Please, please, please smell your wine every time we provide it uh, to you, but especially smell Pinot Noir, and the best vessel for smelling it from is this guy here. This is what we call the New World Pinot Noir glass. By the way, we do carry these uh, stems here. So if you'd like to have a more well-appointed uh, stemware cabinet, we can help you there. Um, this is the New World Pinot Noir glass, the perfect wine uh, glass for a great Pinot Noir. Delicate and fragrance, but it's the fragrance is bigger and more perfumey when you have it out of this. Again, not a colorful wine, but when you have it by the glass, an entire glass of it really tells the tale. It's very soothing and silky in texture. Lovely wine. So that is the very good red wine that we're providing to Miro Society in the month of May. What is the Miro Society getting as a premium wine? Let's do this right here. Let's take you once again to Italy. By the way, we're gonna be jumping all over the world when we do this, uh, these various club packs for you. I'm sorry, wine society packs. This is a wine from Tuscany, Italy, and you who know about Tuscan wines might therefore be expecting a wine made of Sangiovese. Well, these folks handle Sangiovese, but they also make what's called a Super Tuscan. This is a Super Tuscan, and that's basically a category of wines that kind of break the rules, where Sangiovese can be called Chianti, this cannot. This is grown west of Chianti anyway, toward the uh, Tyrrhenian Sea on the uh, west coast of Italy in uh, Bulgari. Uh, this producer, Petra, has made a gorgeous 100% Merlot here for you. And this time, <laughs> I will demonstrate how good it is. I'm gonna prove how good it is because if I say, mmm, delicious, after pouring this, well, doesn't that prove it? Of course, you have to believe me. This beautiful Merlot is not as dark and heavy as a Napa Valley Merlot might be, but it does what I think Merlot ought to do. It should be, uh, a silky pleasure. It should be soft and easy and fragrant. And look at that. This is the glass, glass number three, that I would prefer to have a Bordeaux variety in. Bordeaux varieties are Cabernet, Merlot, Cab Franc, and so on. They shine, especially out of this glass. Does stemware make a difference? It does. If you were to have this in this glass, if you were to do a side-by-side -side smelling and tasting, you would recognize differences. It's amazing. I know, it's like hard to believe unless you've sat down and done it for yourself. At any rate, this is gorgeous Italian Merlot. And you would say, why does Italy have to make Merlot? Because it tastes more Italian and site-specific by doing so. 
You might say, does it smell like Bordeaux? Well, a little. Does it smell like Napa Valley? Yeah, a little. They make Merlot too. But this is essentially, when you smell it, just as much Italy as it is Merlot. There's something called Sotobosco that happens in a great Italian red wine, especially from Tuscany. And Sotobosco means underbrush uh, or kind of forest floor. So besides beautiful fruit, you get that. And here, once again, is a wine that you will understand by having an entire glass. When you go to wine tastings, understand that you're only getting sound bite experiences of any wine. And even if the wine is great, you might be missing some of its features unless you fully involve yourself in a glass. So take a glass of this to the couch, or better yet, take it to a great meal, and you will really love this silky, soft, <sighs> fully scented Merlot. Mm. Mmm, delicious. See? See what I said? That's great wine. At any rate, use that QR code provided on your app to sign up for the Wine Club, Wine Society, if you haven't yet. And uh, I hope to see you down in your digs pretty soon again up on the top floor to pour you some new things. In the meantime, we'll be talking to you with these videos. And uh, we would love to have, let's say, 60 of you on board. In fact, we might cap it there. So let's say this, this Wine Society is limited at this point to 60 members. And after we reach that point and feel good about how we're uh, providing for you, we may grow it from there. But let's get 60 of you involved now. How about that? Thank you so much for your involvement with an independent family-owned business in downtown Pleasanton. And once again, look forward to seeing you soon. Again, my name is Jim Denham. My friend Cosmine helps me choose these wines. You will often see him down there with you as well. So look forward to that. In the meantime, salute.